2022 Audi S5 The 2022 Audi S5 Coupe and Cabriolet are the next step up in performance from their less powerful A5 counterparts. The S5 swaps its siblings 261 HP Turbo 4 for a 349 HP Turbo V6. The mightier mill is the main difference between the two Audi models, but it also contributes to a nearly $10,000 difference in starting price. While that surcharge gives the S5 Coupe and Cabriolet the equipment to accelerate quicker and handle better, it does little to make them more refined or stylish than the regular A5. Plus, the sportier version doesn't have a particularly melodious soundtrack, and a manual transmission is missing. Still, there's an effortlessness and elegance about the 2022 S5 that's easy to appreciate, even if it isn't as entertaining to drive as racier rivals such as the BMW M340i and Mercedes-AMG C43. What's new for 2022? For 2022, the only changes to the S5 Coupe and Cabriolet are its newly standard carbon fiber look interior accents and 19-inch wheels, which replace the previously standard 18-inchers. Pricing and which one to buy? We'd avoid the extra cost and added weight of the S5 Cabriolet. Instead, we'd go with the Coupe and choose the Premium Plus trim. Although it's more expensive than the base Premium, it has more desirable standard features that include a fully digital gauge cluster, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, a heated steering wheel, front and rear parking sensors, and wireless charging. We'd add the black optic package, 20-inch wheels on grippier tires and black exterior trim. We'd be remiss if we also didn't maximize our S5's performance with the S Sport package. It adds sport-tuned adaptive dampers, a torque vectoring rear differential, and red brake calipers. Engine, transmission, and performance. All S5s come with the same 349 HP turbocharged V6, an 8-speed automatic transmission, and Quattro all-wheel drive. Thanks to its launch control system and all-wheel drive traction, the last S5 coupe we tested delivered competitive acceleration in a class of quick alternatives. In our testing, it hit 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds. Despite the additional weight, the convertible S5 cabriolet that we tested was still plenty quick, hitting 60 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds. Both titillating two-door S5s we tested were equipped with 19-inch rims on performance summer tires and the S Sport package, which adds a torque vectoring rear differential and adaptive dampers. As equipped, our test cars sported firm but still compliant rides. The coupe also came equipped with the dynamic steering option, which quickens the steering the more the wheel is turned from center. We found the system uncommunicative and unpredictable, we recommend sticking with the standard fixed ratio steering setup. Fuel economy and real-world MPG. With a potent turbocharged V6 and standard all-wheel drive, one might expect the S5 Coupe and Cabriolet to have not so great fuel economy. However, the fixed roof version is expected to earn 20 MPG in the city and 28 MPG on the highway. Choosing the convertible reduces the latter rating by 2 MPG. We tested both body styles on our 75 MPH highway fuel economy route, which is part of our extensive testing regimen and the coupe earned 30 mpg and the cabriolet earned 32 mpg for more information about the s5's fuel economy interior comfort and cargo the s5's interior is marked by soft to the touch expensive feeling materials high quality fit and finish and a user-friendly design both the driver and front passenger are treated to comfortable and roomy power adjustable seats while rear seat riders are left with the bare minimum of acceptable space those in need of more rear seat room should look at the four-door S5 Sportback, which has a longer wheelbase and offers more room for rear passengers. The two-door S5's interior starts with a conservative but modern dashboard design that's pieced together with laser-type precision. Additionally, every model includes luxuries such as front seats with heating and massage functions and three-zone climate control. In our testing, the S5 Coupe held five carry-on suitcases, which puts it at the top of its class in terms of trunk room. Meanwhile, the convertible's trunk swallowed one less bag. Additionally, the S5's comparatively low lift over height and wide trunk opening make loading items into the cargo bay an easy affair. Infotainment and connectivity. Every S5 is outfitted with Audi's latest infotainment software, which is displayed on a high-mounted 10.1-inch touchscreen. The system also can be operated via voice recognition and steering wheel controls, 
but the intuitive rotary controller on the center console of pre-2020 models has been nixed. Along with standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, the S5 can be equipped with a slick-looking 12.3-inch fully digital gauge cluster, a Wi-Fi hotspot, and a 705-watt Bang & Olufsen audio system. Safety and driver assistance features. Audi's entry luxury coupe and convertible have a suite of standard and optional driver assistance gear. For more information about the S5's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IIHS, websites. Key safety features include, standard automated emergency braking, available blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert, available adaptive cruise control with stop and go technology.